I have completed some DIYs as part of my half bath refresh and I absolutely love how this farmhouse beaded tray turned out. Stay tuned as I share the other little updates in today's video. And if you're new here on this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Before we get started with my DIYs, I wanted to thank Tiffany from Broke Girl Aesthetic for allowing me to join her playlist and I'll have a link to her channel and the playlist below. So I have these hops knobs from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna cut them down the stem. Well, I'm actually not sure what you call that part, but anyway, I'm gonna cut that down and you have to use a certain kind of straw to do that, but luckily we have one. And these glass jars are a Target dollar spot find from a couple of years ago. They've been in my stash and I thought that this would be the perfect time to use them. And I'm gonna find the center of the lid so I can drill a hole to put the knob in. So my, my idea of finding the center is just like, that's close enough and like points into the spot. So that's why I have him because he's more detailed. He used this little protractor thing to find the center and then he tapped a screwdriver so he would know where to drill. And this is totally something that I could do. Um, as you can see, it's really easy as long as you have the right tools, but he did it for me. The reason I don't do this part of it is because I can't, I can't see like the top of the, um, I'd, be, I'd have to stand on something. Filling the hole, it leaves little burrs on the bottom. You can just take a normal drill bit. Since it's real thin metal, you can just do like that, knock them off. Cleans it up. Yep. Okay, it's just a matter of taking off the washer and nut and then putting the knob in place and then reattaching the washer and the nut. So stinking simple to do, but it turns out so cute. Well, I mean, I really love it. <laughs> and I'm just adding some Q-tips and some cotton balls. You can get these at Dollar Tree. You know, I'm not trying to pack them in either. I'm just adding it until it looks full. This next little DIY, which is really not a DIY. And I say that because basically I'm just taking this cute little picture picture that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm removing the decal that was on there and with this little scraping tool that I also got from Dollar Tree. And I'm removing the sticker off the bottom and then I clean it off with some rubbing alcohol. And I could have added another decal, but I kind of like the simple look to it. So it's not really a DIY. I am taking, making a book stack. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? I'm making a book stack and I'm using Waverly Wax in the color Antique to stain this little crate that I got from Dollar Tree. And all I do is paint it on and wipe it off with a damp scrap piece of cloth. And I did make a decal that was a bit too large for the area I was putting it on. I do go back and remake it, but here I'm using some new transfer tape. It's paper transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl and I'm obsessed with it. It works so well. It's not too sticky and there's no backing to remove so it sticks to itself, you know? And it kind of is like one of those lint roller things. But anyways, I just want to share in case you're looking for some new transfer tape, I highly recommend it. And to finish this project, I'm just wrapping some twine around the end of the book stack and I'm going to be adding a bow on top. This is the last DIY for today and it's my favorite. I mean, I like the other things, but I really just love how this one turned out. So this was a previous tray that I had and it's a bit too long and since it's wide, it also just blended into the space too much. Okay, so what we're doing here, and when I say we, I mean Marvin. I'm trying to make this tray 15 inches long and it's longer than the other tray which is over there and so I'm trying to figure out what to do because I was just going to stain it all but this has the Lowe's logo on it pretty predominantly so I think I'm going to do the bottom white stain the rest of it do the beads white and put it together that way what do you think 
I used five large paint stir sticks. I got them from Lowe's and normally I buy them in a pack for around a dollar, but I actually got all of these for free. I also bought two square dowels from my local hardware store and Marvin helped me measure and I cut them down to size with my miter saw. I glued these all together with wood glue and I wiped off the excess with a damp cloth and I let it dry overnight before doing anything else. And then I cut another set of dowels and I did the same, used some wood glue to attach them together and let it dry overnight. Okay, I wanted to show y'all what I'm trying to fix on this tray. So I, I made the tray smaller and I, I'm really loving it so far, but there's this gap right here. And I thought if I put shims in there, that would like fix that problem, Whoa. but it's not really can do this one handed. It's not really fixing my problem. I don't know. I'll have to get Mr. Hart to help. You know the drill on this. I'm using my favorite Waverly Wax in the color Antique and painting it on the top of the tray. And then I'll use a damp cloth to wipe off the excess. I was gonna use shims as the feet of this tray, but instead I decided to use some Jenga blocks. And I'm gluing two blocks together and I'm making four pairs and I'll let all of that dry overnight. Now for the tricky part, I bought a bag of 14 millimeter beads off of Amazon. I'll have the link below and I put them on a skewer and I spray painted them. It's my favorite way to paint beads. It makes it so much easier. And I have socks helping me for this part. I think he's just hoping that a bead will fall off for him to play with. But anyways, I measured out, well, counted out how many beads I needed for the, each side. And then I kept the beads on the skewer and then I used some dabs of hot glue to attach them to the tray. Same thing for each end. I counted out the beads, kept them on the skewer, and then glued them onto the tray. I added that other frame that I had on top of the tray and just added some dabs of hot glue to secure it. And I'm taking these feet, those feet that I made earlier and now I'm using wood glue to attach them to the bottom of the tray. I wanted to paint it because wood glue works best when it's raw wood to raw wood so that's why we had to wait and to finish this out i'm using some white acrylic paint on the bottom and that is of course after everything has been dried and allowed to set this is how it turned out that little cage on the top is just an empty bird cage haven't decided what to put in it but here's the white picture i put those little yellow pom-pom flower things in there here's that little book stack it turned out super cute And then down below, here is a little grow pot I made in a previous video. I think it turned out super cute as well. These two jars, so stinking simple and easy to make, but I think they look really nice on the shelf. And then down below, there is a take a seat sign I got from Hobby Lobby, a little wire basket with some washcloths the beaded tray it all turned out so great and i'm so happy with it but i wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video today and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you want to follow me here on youtube or over on instagram it's our gray house but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy bye